biggest question that I get, is there a huge difference? You ready for the answer? <laughs> So what's up YouTube? So I'm back at it with my Stella Rosa wine because I told y'all before this wine is super freaking good. Um, I've already been sipping on it by the way. So I'm gonna just pour up some more. All right, this is gonna be my nightcap. Currently right now it is about 23, 25. I use military time, um, but for those of you who do not know military time, it means it's 11:26 at night. Um, I have to be to work tomorrow uh, from like eight to three because I'm training uh, a new nurse. So um, not like a new nurse, but like a nurse newer to our facility. So, um, but yeah, so I'm just going in for some training hours uh, to train that girl. So, um, or guy, whoever it may be, I don't know who it is, but uh, so today's topic is going to be about ADN versus BSN. Okay. I touched on this in my last video. Um, if you guys have not seen my last video, I will link it right here up in the cards. But um, so ADN versus BSN and I figured that I would touch on it more in depth with this video. So what exactly is an ADN? An ADN is basically a associate's degree of nursing. Um, so I currently have my ADN. So with the ADN, I went to a junior college, Tyler Junior College. Whoop whoop, go go go, Apaches! But uh, so I have my ADN, and I got it at TJC, and I got it back in 2012. Ooh, y'all, that's a long ass time ago. But uh, so I got my ADN in 2012, and the reason being why I got my ADN is because when I was getting like I did two years of my prerequisites at TJC and by the end of that second year I was planning on transferring and at the end of that second year I sat down with my uh, academic advisor and she kind of was like okay well you know the ADN and BSN pretty much does the same thing um, one just went to school a little bit longer so why not just apply for our program here see if you get accepted and if you do then great awesome you can go forward with the program but if you don't then you know just go ahead and proceed with your BSN so I ended up getting accepted and I it was the best thing for me so after two years of my prerequisites um, I got accepted into the ADN program and I did two more years in the program so now with a BSN you have to do four years so I remember in like high school I had some friends that were doing college course classes and stuff like that and then they eventually went into the um, into the nursing field as well so although they were graduating at the same time as me they were graduating with their bsn and i was graduating with my adn we both went to school for about four years but she came out with a bsn but it put her the, those college courses put her ahead of the game because when she got to college she was already pretty much a sophomore so um but yeah so that's the main difference so pretty much um the BSN nurse typically spend about um, anywhere to four and a half to five years, even sometimes six, because I've seen some people spend six years, you know, schooling just to obtain their BSN. Um, now, biggest question that I get, is there a huge difference? You ready for the answer? Hell no. As far as in work-wise, you guys will do the same exact thing. Now, the only way that the BSN has a leg up is if the BSN, like if like a management type of uh, opportunity came available. Of course, they would prefer the BSN or if you wanted to further your education, you know, you already have your BSN, that type of thing, you know, um, or if you wanted like some, if you wanted some other type of management type of position, such as like a clinical um, supervisor or educator or whatever the case may be, then you know they would prefer you to have your bachelor's. Now, that's not to say that the ADN 
won't get that position as you know as well the ADM very much so could get that position for example if you got the ADN that's been an ADN for about 10 years, you got a BSN applying for the same job that's only had her BSN for three years, who do you think they're gonna pick? They're gonna pick the ADN over the BSN. So, I mean, it's situations like that um, that can come into play to where the BSN can be knocked down by the ADN on a job management type of position. So, let me give y'all a story like one time i was doing my clinicals and the nurse that was precepting me she was the adn but the hospital that i was precepting at was pushing for their nurses to be bsn so she was uh the hospital was paying her to get her bsn right she was actually doing her clinicals while i was doing my clinicals. so while she was training me she was also doing her clinicals and stuff like that, which I now that I'm thinking back on it, she probably shouldn't have been doing it. But hey girl, you gotta get it how you live. And so, and I mean, I respect that. But so I asked her, I was like, what all entails in the BSN program? Like, what are you shadowing? I, I, I see pretty much that y'all are doing the same job. She was like, honey, I'm just watching her to see if she does anything bsn -y. so i was just like bro that is so fucking funny like that just tickled me pink honey so um i was just like wow there's really not a difference and so when i actually got into the work field i was able to realize that yeah there's not a huge difference the only major difference is that um you know you may make a dollar more or 50 cent more you may make just even like a little bit more but as far as patient care goes, y'all do the exact same thing. Now, for this area, the East Texas area, and I say that in every video, but for this area, um, they do not require you to have your BSN, which to me is the main reason why I chose not to probably go back for my BSN because there's no point in me doing it because the hospitals out here don't work, require it. That's the reason why I chose not to go back and get my BSN. Now, if I was to move out of this area to like a larger area such as Los Angeles or New York or something like that, whatever the case may be, now they may require me to already have my BSN and then yes, I would obtain my BSN and spend that extra money, then yes, I would get my BSN. But, um, like I said it before, this area doesn't require it, so I'm not going to do it. That's not to say that you should not do it. Now, the times that I say that you should go ahead and get your BSN are these times. Um, if you know for a fact that you want to further your education other than being a nurse and being at the vet side, then yes, I totally agree. You should get your BSN. Go ahead and get that knocked out the way, honey, because, you know, uh, the BSN MSN program is so short so it wouldn't take you no time you know if you already had your BSN whereas me with my ADN it would take me a lot longer because I need to get my BSN and then I'll get, have to get my MSN so yes if you know your ultimate goal is like a CRNA or a family nurse practitioner or a acute care nurse practitioner then yes you need to go ahead and get your BSN like many of you know um, from my last video, I had even got accepted into the Family Nurse Practitioners Program. And since I didn't have my BSN, I was gonna have to go to school a full two years round. Like no breaks off, school all, all year, all the time, nonstop for two and a half, two to two and a half years. Um, but if I had my BSN, I would be able to have that summer break, that spring break, you know, those type of breaks. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the other differences. So I've talked about pay um, in between the ADN and the BSN, and I've talked about uh, this area and what they hire. Now, the biggest thing that I would want you to consider is this what are what is your ultimate goal what are you trying to do ultimately um are you trying to further your education like i just stated or are you trying to just hey i need to get to the money i got a family and some kids to be and i want to you know go ahead and get my feet wet and get into the game and kind of figure it out and then you know later on down the line i'll i'll go for it you get what i'm saying so um 
that's the biggest thing you need to consider so for me I didn't have no kids but I was just kind of tired of school and I was just ready to get to the money so that's why another reason why I went and went to into the ADN program um, and I've been here for seven years and ultimately I would probably further my education but right now I just don't see myself doing it because like I said before this area really isn't conducive to me furthering my education um, just meaning that if I was to get my BSN I would still get the same pay nothing would change for me if you guys have watched my last video then you know why I say that this area isn't really conducive for me or furthering my education at the moment Hang on y'all, my camera's about to die. All right y'all, so I'm back. New battery, who this? But uh, so same cup of wine, who this? That's my biggest thing that I want you guys to consider is what's your ultimate goal? If you already know that you're gonna go ahead and go back to school and knock it out and be a uh, family nurse practitioner or acute care nurse practitioner or a CRNA, then girl, BSN is the way to go for you. Um, but if you know that you just want to kind of get your feet wet, kind of get into the nursing game real quick, make some money, um, and you know, explore your options, then I would 100% say try out the ADN program but as far as in like travel nursing I have had no issues whenever I went to these so-called hospitals that were magnet status and them not hiring me um, what baby but um, but yeah so as far as in travel nursing I had no issues with get, with getting hired by these so-called hospitals that were magnet status because when they are in crisis and they are in need guess what they're gonna do okay baby but when they are in crisis and when they are in need of nurses guess what they're gonna hire nurses of all kinds you get what I'm saying so I've never had an issue or a hospital tell me oh hey well um we can't hire you because you're an ADN I've, I've never had that hey back out he came in here to tell on me because I'm drinking my drink bye channel he drink, you drink okay no. well close the door baby okay at the end of the day ultimately um, if you are in need of travel nurses, then that means you need nurses immediately and you need help right then and there. So a lot of the hospitals really at that point don't even care if you have an ADN or a BSN. As long as you have that NCLEX and you pass and you're, um, you got your license for that state, then girl, girl, girl. And me having my ADN still has not stopped me from making over 100K. Um, it still has not stopped me from being a preceptor on my uh, on my floor or whatever the case may be. It still hasn't stopped me from even being chosen to be like a charge nurse, which I decline because I cannot be no charge nurse, honey. I just want to take care of my patients and be done by the end of the day. But you know it still hasn't stopped me from being like or being even thought of to be like a relief type of charge or anything like that so um child i almost dropped this wine honey see y'all this wine gets me so quick it gets me so quick and i'm not a drinker but maybe that's and i'm not a drinker but maybe that's maybe that's why but y'all this wine is some good potent stuff to sum it all up me having my ADN has not stopped me at all. Um, now, am I for anybody that wants to further their education getting their BSN? Yes, I am. Am I for anybody that is wanting to go ahead and get the money and get out here and just become a nurse and accomplish their goal and, you know, kind of figure out later on down the line if they want to actually further their education? Then yes, I'm for that too. But ultimately, it will depend on you and what you see best fit for you don't listen to nobody you know try to tell you oh you should go to the bsn route you do what's best for you boo okay okay at the end of the day we are all nurses we all take care of the same patients we all work you know 
our asses off to really save lives. We all bust our asses to uh, take care of our people and our patients and uh, our community. So at the end of the day, no one, the ADN isn't higher or the BSN isn't higher or whatever the case may be. We're all on the same level if you ask me. We all get paid somewhat similar or even the exact same we all take care of patients we all work hand in hand side by side and you know we all are nurses i say that to say this if you guys are going to comment on this video and think that oh my god i'm a bsn and i'm better than adn or lvn or whatever the case may be then guess what you're gonna get blocked quick fast and hurry i'm not here for that i'm not here for that everybody takes care of patients we all take care of our patients we all serve the community we all have pledged to be nurses so I don't get how the BSN or uh, ADN or MSN thinks they're, that their shit don't stink and that they're above all of us. Like, we're, we're all the same. We all take care of people. So, I really want this video to be positive and uplifting and motivating for anybody that chooses to do the ADN or BSN. I hope this video was very, very helpful for you guys in figuring out which path you should go. Are you going to take my path or are you going to take the BSN path? Um, you guys let me know down in the comments like what are your options like what are your reasonings for going towards the BSN or what are your reasonings towards going towards your ADN you know when you guys explain your reasons and things like that that really helps some of these other people that are trying to look into the nursing field so feel free to comment down below your reasoning as to why you chose ADN, BSN, or even FMP, or even acute care, or even CRNA. Like, you guys let me know down in the comments. Like, like I told you guys before in my previous videos, I want my channel to be like a nursing forum so people can actually scroll back through the comments and actually kind of get good advice from people that are actually in the medical field themselves. So, I mean, and this is information you can't get anywhere else. So, why not help other people that are actually looking into the nursing field? If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything like that, feel free to list them down below. If I can't get back to you, I'm pretty sure someone in the comments can probably help you out. Um, but I'm almost finished with this wine, guys. And uh, let me take this last sip. And I guess I will conclude this video here. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I love you guys for all the support. Um, all the comments all the positive energy i love you guys for just helping this channel grow i love you guys for even commenting and helping other nurses and people um i love you guys for even sharing my videos um but i will see you guys in the next one babies bye